very good morning to all the students of class 9th d uh, yesterday we completed this chapter a house is not a home fine so house is just made up of building and home is what family makes it what the love of the family and mutual respect fine that makes it the warmth of the family that is a home fine so this we have learned in this chapter that there is difference between house and home and then story is also done and let's uh, do the story in briefing within 5 minutes after revision of the story line then we will discuss question answers okay and i will not be giving answer to not a single question you all will be giving me the answers fine so be ready and you will also switch on your videos please while speaking make sure and do active participation it should not be that lethargic one that i'm asking you are not switching it on so please be seated at formal places and make sure nobody is around while you speak and when you participate yes so a house is not a home it is all about the growing uh, age problems of author when he was a teenager and how he was shifted from junior to senior building and how uh, to senior school and how it was a bad change for him because it was emotionally unstable thing he was not able to accept new friends new scenario new teachers he was going back to same place again and again so that was the trouble that a lot of uh, teenage students uh, uh, suffer when their school or place is changed fine so this chapter firstly author was sent to new school that was troublesome for him then uh, after that his house caught fire he has not even started the school yet he was just admitted over there and his house caught fire and uh, fire engulfed the whole house uh, then after that he after few hours but his uh, luckily he and his mother his father was no more when he was a child he lost his father at that time only so when luckily he and his mother were uh, saved but finally he thought where is his cat after 4 5 hours of when fire was put out he realized that his cat was nowhere to be found so then that's why he again became dejected and sad le beta you will get answers to many questions now many questions answers you will be getting now so please pay attention uh so his house caught fire then he his cat was lost also so many things happened that he went into depression he was so dejected uh fine then they have to move to rented apartment so his place where he was residing that was new he lost his home he lost his old school he was shifted to new school he lost his uh, you can say pet cat also so he was uh, you can say from all the sides negativity was there he was not able to cope up with the situation with present scenario and utterly and sheer dejection surrounded him like anything so that was the problem fine so now then after that what happened classmates he never expected that one day he was so hesitant that he will be going to school without uniform without bag wearing tennis shoes and people will make fun of me and you know quickly this thing spread like anything and everybody knew that he has gone through this and he never expected that people will come forward to help him so when he was to school everybody was asking him to hurry up and all and when he entered the gym of the school he saw a big table was set up and everything notebooks uniform and different shoes and different clothing and tops and beautiful dresses were arranged over there for him whatever is required for his start everything was put up as if it was a christmas and he was getting christmas presents so there was no christmas but actually everybody came to help him so classmates came forward to help him he was so happy and overwhelmed with emotions then uh, they rent uh, took an apartment on rent they borrowed money from their grandparents also and then they started rebuilding their house also so fire engulfed their house but he it returned him the their true home right house was engulfed the building was gone but actually out of this loss he gained so many things he got love of his new classmates and friends he made new friends were there when his house was being rebuilt many students were coming forward to him and he got friends real friends then uh, when he was just uh, sad about his cat and after a month his uh, that one of the women she came and she asked that is this yours and when he turned back it was his cat so he was so happy to see that finally he got his house is also being rebuilt he got new friends also he got adjusted in the new school also and he got his cat also so life rejuvenated refreshed up fine for him so you know one more message from this story is that we should be grateful for what we have rather than cribbing upon why this has happened you know god has always a right timing we do not know what is happening you know there is one picture i have seen that where a child is standing 
and uh, god jesus christ image is there and god is you know giving him actually uh, one hand of the god is at the back i don't have that image i would have shown you that is making sense how it's making sense here a picture of jesus christ and he's holding a big teddy bear in his hand and his hand is at back fine and one child is standing there and god is a snatching small teddy bear from him that image is actually uh, reflecting a big message in our lives that if something is taken away from us in lives we become so shattered and we become so sad and dejected but we do not know what the plans of the god are his plans are much bigger than our thinking where our thinking stops there uh, you know uh, the plan of god starts so if something is snatched from us maybe something bigger is coming up if one problem occurs big opportunities you know within the difficulties lie the solutions also so rather than uh, concentrating on difficulties we should look forward to the solution so this chapter has taught us that whatsoever the circumstances are you should never give up you should never lose hope you should be always positive and you should look forward to the good side of that bad thing also always fine so uh, always good things will happen to you so now it's your turn to participate i'm going to share screen with you all you can see question answers on your screens yes beta now i'm not going to give answers to i will be giving at the end when you speak after that okay so first of all jaldi se switch on the video those who want to participate in this those who are the ones who would like to participate please switch on the videos yes prachi is the first one jia is the second one then jo bacche video on kar rahe hain only they will participate baki ke bacche nahi divya very good jaldi se rest of the students they they just passing the time sitting at home yes lisa is there please sit here don't hesitate in switching on the videos it's not about like you are going to participate in this question answers fine so i will be waiting throughout the session for more students and i can ask any one of you also those who have not switched on the videos unki bhi turn aa sakti hai yes so prachi first question goes to you beta Yes, ma'am. Once on the Sunday afternoon, on the Sunday afternoon, the author was just sitting there and doing his homework when she when he suddenly not, uh, noticed the strange smell coming from the roof. Uh, then he noticed the smoke pouring in through the seams of the ceiling. The smoke began to fill the room so quickly that he uh, they could barely see. So. Uh, they just ran towards the front door and ran out or into the front yard uh, so that they could escape that fire what is uh, his mother's that? reaction was his mother's reaction was also very fast and clever she uh, quickly ran into the house uh, and ran out the house carrying a small metal was full of important documents she dropped them the case in the lawn and then again ran back into the house risking her life for the uh, his father's belongings as his father has died and they were the only uh, signs of him left here with them yes very good very good uh, she has like uh, chosen the sentences from the book itself that's very good so textual language is given So yes, the author, while doing his homework, noticed the smoke pouring in through the seams of the ceiling. Fine, जो seams होते हैं ना जहाँ से आप इतने से the sides of the ceiling. So smoke started uh, pouring in through the seams, and the room was filled with smoke very quickly. The author and his mother, you know, both of them, firstly they ran outside to save their lives, and then after that, author's mother, being you can say. Uh, she used her presence of mind and she realized that important documents are lying there she ran inside of the house and came out with a small metal box and she threw that box into the lawn and again she hurriedly ran again into the house and uh, author could make out that definitely my mother has gone to take some uh, letters and pictures of his father because they were the only left memories of his dead father so that was the thing in the first answer Yes, second question. Divya or Jia, who would like to answer, raise your hand. <coughs> Divya, Jia, who would like to answer second question, please raise your hand. Yeah, you. Book me, see, beta. You can answer. You can do. 
Prachi's turn is done. Prachi, you won't get your turn now. Abhini, I give your turn. Let's see how many students participate. Firstly, uh, Dharya also, Karan, Veer, uh, Liza, Harmeet, Arnav, Gurshan, Riyanshika, please participate in this. Okay. Ab sab ki turn aani hai. Ye nahi ki sirf wohi do bache baar baar bolenge. Okay, Divya, you answer the second question. Why does she break down in tears after the final? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the author broke down into tears after the fire broke into his house because he realized that he had lost everything in the fire, including his uh, cat. And and then he remembers that uh, he also have lost uh, his old school and he uh, misses uh, missed his old school. And he broke down into tears and cried a lot after the fire. Yes, yeah, so uh, author's house was completely burned down. That was the first reason. And then uh, he uh, also lost uh, his tabby cat in that incident. He uh, has to shift to new school also. So all these thoughts made him, uh, you know, he breaks down in tears that he lost everything according to him. So that's why he started crying. Yes, Jia, third question. You will speak. Firstly, read the question. The author felt that <clears throat> the author felt that everyone is making fun of him because his why house burned. Question, question he didn't is, have his uniform. Question is, why is the author deeply embarrassed the next day in school? Which words show his fear and insecurity? Yes, ma'am. The author felt that everyone is making fun of him because his house burned. He didn't have his uniform, books, and his school bag. He was feeling very insecure about these things. Everyone and every act seemed strange to him. His words, was I destined to be an outcast and a geek all my life? I didn't want to grow up, change or have to handle life. If it was to going to be this day, I just wanted to curl up and die. Shows his fear and insecurity. Exactly, these are the words. You can underline this bit up. So author was full of remorse, fine. He was embarrassed uh, the next day in school. He thought that without uniform and books and bag, people will make fun of him. And he never wanted to get that kind of attention. He never thought that the first day of school will be so different for him. So that's why he had the feeling of insecurity and he was scared also. So, but what words show this? So this is the line which she has mentioned. Was I destined to say uh, curl up and die. The underline karlo. These are the lines which show that uh, he was having insecurity and he was scared also. Clear? Fourth question, the cat and the author are very fond of each other. How has this been shown in the story? Where was the cat after the fire? Who brings it back and how? So, Riyanshika has raised hand. Yes, ma'am. The author and the cat shared unconditional love for each other. He always considered her as a family member. The cat who remained with the author for most of the time. He had rescued her when she was a kitten. The cat ran over a mile when the house was on fire as she might have felt frightened. The author had completely forgotten about her. Her caller had phone number of the author but the phone had been destroyed in the fire. A stranger woman worked hard to figure out whose cat was it. Ultimately she came back to narrator and narrator felt elated. Yes, so the author loved his cat very much. He never considered her far from him. Uh, you know, she kept sitting beside him when he did his homework and whenever he did any other household work, even then cat was uh, there with him. Fine, and he, you know, took this cat when he saved this cat when it was a kitten. And since then it has spent uh, almost uh, each moment with the author, fine. And it would, uh, as a kitten, it would enter into his pocket and, you know, it would show love towards him. He grabbed her quickly. Uh, he would grab him and he would feel relaxed and relieved. So this proved that, that they were fond of each other, fine. Then next is, fifth question, raise your hands. What actions of the schoolmates change the author's understanding of life, people, and comfort him emotionally. Uh, 
कोई और स्टूडेंट्स बेटा धैर्या हिज स्कूल मेट बॉट अप स्कूल सप्लाईज नोटबुक्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट क्लोज फॉर द ऑथर इन ऑर्डर to help him it was a matter of uh, surprise and too difficult to believe for him he got emotional satisfaction uh, people who had never spoken introduced themselves one by one all things seemed new and created his interest in life now he had all the things whatever he used to have mem uh, he started enjoying his life as usual so you can say that uh... Uh, he started enjoying his life as usual yes so in the beginning you can tell that uh, how his school mates planned to help him without letting him announce that fine they just asked him to hurry up and reach gym and then he saw that big table piled up were the things like uh, notebooks and bags and tops and dresses uh, fine and he was so uh, overwhelmed with emotion so it was a matter of surprise and it was too difficult for him to believe fine so he got uh, emotional at that time and you know why he was so shocked because the people who were strangers to him who had never met him earlier because it was a new school for him new friends and new classmates so they were helping him after knowing his true condition so that's why uh the new era started in his life his life was rejuvenated and now he had all the things whatever he liked clear so these are the words and actions clear now let's move on to next question question number 6 we will do some extra questions also beta What is the meaning of my cat was back and so was I? Had the author gone anywhere? Why does he say that he is also back? Let me tell who will answer this question. Arnav, will you answer this question? so the students who never participated will never participate you know this is the end of the discussion then i try that more and more students should speak aryan would you like to participate in this jo nahi bol rahe hain i'm not going to mark you present because agar response hi nahi hai to it means you're not in the class aryan would you like to answer no no response magan nahi aata hai to tell me that and meet yourself and tell me that i don't know the answer but you're not unmuting yourself that says it all so we have many students who are passive participant who never participate in this only 3 to 5 children are there who give answer to this lisa would you like to answer beta So yes, ma'am. Yes, Lisa, you answer. Arush, you have raised hand, but you will answer the next question if I ask. So fine. Lisa, you can answer. Yes, ma'am. And number six, ma'am. No, uh, no problem. You can continue, Peter. The meaning is that his cat came back. he felt that he came to the earlier phase of life in it he had lots of friends and had no worry he had not gone anywhere but he felt lonely in the change at his new school he says so because now he has many friends also he does not feel lonely very good you can mute yourself please sir so uh the meaning here the author wants to you know uh, reveal the fact that life without affection and love is meaningless fine if you have a house but there is no one to love uh, you can say reside with you no one to show emotions to you then there is of no use so in this here author wants to point out that life without love is useless 
he was depressed after losing in all fields of his life he lost his old school old friends then fire also engulfed his house and cat was also uh, lost and in such circumstances he considered himself to be uh, dead and he had no interest in life anymore but in the end as soon as the conditions improved he felt satisfied fine he had all the things with him when he had not gone anywhere but actually he uh, entered that recovery phase of his life fine and where he started enjoying his life along with his mother in the new house with the cat fine so this is what they are trying to say he was there only but he lost his interest in life actually clear yeah. now i would like to see uh, have any of your classmates or schoolmates had an experience like the one described in the story where they needed help describe how they were helped you can also narrate your own personal experiences beta fine aapko ye six questions mein se karne hai notebook mein these are six questions this one aap discuss kar sakte ho if anybody has experience please raise hand i will uh, unmute you you can uh, it's not be ki aapko assume karna hai if you remember any real incident you can discuss with us no one is there so uh, let me ask you some questions describe the title a house is not a home what is the difference of house and home you have to tell that jaldi se raise your hand arush aapne raise your hand arush where are you ab isme nahi hai kuch bhi I'm not going to ask from the book. Out of the book, I'm asking. So the students who were raising hand can answer this. This kid turn nahi aaye. A house is not a home. Justify the title. बहुत easy है. Raise your hands. Those who would like to speak, few lines on this. No one is there. Dipt Kirti. Karan Veer. Yes, beta. a house is a building made up of bricks and other materials there as the home is made up of family feelings and other attachments yes very good so exactly this is what the answer is so a house is just made up of bricks fine it's a building but a home is where feelings are there mutual respect is there affection is there and family members are residing with cordial behavior uh, mutual respect Yes, yeah, so that is home. So this is that's why the title is apt. Clear. Yeah. Next question is. So next question is. Why did narrator walk around school like a zombie? And why did everything feel surreal to him, artificial? Who laga usko sab kuch? Why did the narrator walk around school like a zombie? Zombie is the person who's you can say uh, dead and uh, you know no emotions at all. Why he was moving around like a zombie? And why did everything feel surreal and artificial to him? Yes. Again, same answer is there. We have already discussed, written on the board also. Why he was insecure? Why he was scared? Why he was depressed? Why he was dejected? सब का एक ही आंसर है. The loss. Fine. Which yes, uh, same students नहीं hand raise कर सकते हैं. Please. So uh, I will answer this again. Same thing. Yes, Deep Kirti, right answer. He was deeply stuck after losing. Yes, lasting word नहीं होता है बेटा. Deep Kirti, please make sure. So. He was deeply uh, under stress after losing his uh, firstly the new school. When he was shifted to new school, he lost his old school, junior school. Then he shift, then his house got burned. Then he lost his cat also, and the basic necessities of life were also were snatched away from him. So that's why he started feeling like a zombie. He started moving around. Just everything is surreal. He never had interest in anything, so he felt really awkward. Clear? Yeah? So that's why he was moving around like that. Any doubt to anyone, beta? किसी को कोई doubt तो नहीं है. Any doubt in the whole chapter? No doubt at all. 